Hello everyone, I have a special treat planned for you today. I'm in Flagstaff and I'm gonna give you a tour of some of my favorite neighborhoods in Flagstaff. Now I'm gonna stay on the south part of Flagstaff because again, Flagstaff is very big or it's become very big and there are a lot of different neighborhoods. So I'm just picking out my favorite, maybe 10 or so. I'm gonna drive through and tell you a little bit of what, what I know. Okay, we're staying on the south part of town um, because that's a good way to start. And I'm basing this on the number of homes that are for sale, where I'm seeing activities, uh, neighborhoods that I'm familiar with, neighborhoods that I love, and that's how I'm making the list. It's not prioritized by any other reason except for, you know, my opinion and where I'm seeing a lot of, inform you know, a lot of activity. So I know people are interested in these neighborhoods and I'm just going to give you a driving tour. Now I'm going to quote some home prices. Understand that I'm making this video in the late summer of 2022. So if you're watching it in 23 or 24, prices are going to be out of date, but at least you can get an idea relative to the other homes and the other neighborhoods, what houses are going for. So stay tuned. I think you're going to like this neighborhood tour. <laughs> channel is living in northern Arizona where I will teach you everything there is to know about what it's like to live here, eat, sleep, and play here, work here. So if you're thinking about moving to northern Arizona, this is certainly a place you're going to want to stop. Please do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell because that will let you know each time I upload a video. And I do upload videos every single week here so you're not going to want to miss anything. Um, that's thunder right now <laughs> so I'm not going to stay out too long. My name's Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate in the northern half of the state say so if you have a question my information to contact me is always in the description below or you can send me a call text email and I will love to get back to you and talk to you about real estate so stay tuned and watch the tour of Flagstaff so right now I'm standing outside of the prestigious Forest Highlands community here in the southern part of Flagstaff. This is a beautiful community, uh, very prestigious, but it will be expensive to get you in here. Uh, the houses right now in the MLS are selling between $900,000 and $4 million. But in addition to the home price, it is expensive to live here. You are required to buy into the, uh, uh, the golf course, the golf club, I should say. So your golf club member is initially going to be $55,000 plus you have a pretty high HOA fee uh, I'd have to look it up it depends it's uh, gonna be north though probably at least a thousand dollars monthly to live here and then again the $55,000 initial golf club membership uh, but there are tons of amenities here. There's a golf course, there's pool, tennis courts, uh, all sorts of activities. Uh, the people that I've known who have moved here into Forest Highlands all uh, say good things about it. So uh, again, it's expensive to live here, but this is one of uh, Flagstaff's most uh, prestigious premier communities. So right now I'm in one of my favorite Flagstaff neighborhoods, University Heights. Now this is kind of a older established neighborhoods a lot of the homes were built in the 80s and 90s although there are some newer ones in here not far from here you could find a couple of condo plexes um, not right here in the neighborhood but near the outskirts where you might be able to get a condo for the high 200s or low 300 thousands uh, but in this neighborhood where I'm walking um, the homes are a bigger and newer the smallest fixer upper house I saw in here for sale right now was about $500,000, but most of them are in the, you know, eight, nine hundreds up to a million dollars for sale. Now, the one thing to know about this neighborhood is there's no HOA, which a lot of people love that, but that also puts you at risk of someone buying a house next to you and making it into an Airbnb. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, there is a way, if you're looking in a neighborhood, I can sometimes tell if there's an Airbnb near you by looking at the neighbor houses and seeing if they are owned by LLC. Of course, that doesn't mean that somebody's not privately doing an Airbnb, but um, there are uh, you know, some research we could do. Um, but anyhow, this is University Heights, one of my favorite Flagstaff neighborhoods. And um, 
I hope you like it. So right now I am in one of Flagstaff's newer neighborhoods. This is Crestview. Crestview started in the late 2010s, maybe 2018, 2019, and there are homes still being built in here right now. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Um, not all mansion size homes, you know, like normal person homes in here. Uh, I'm under this little Ramada right now so that you have kids. Um, they can hang out here so it's more of a neighborhood type of, or a family type of a neighborhood. Uh, prices right now I'm seeing 600,000, 800,000 so uh, more in line with the more affordable homes here in Flagstaff. So Crestview there is an HOA um, but it's not that restrictive. I've heard um, you would want to do a little more research or I could find out more about the HOA if you're interested in that. But this is the Crestview neighborhood. Again, it is on the west of Interstate 17, not far off the 40. So a uh, really good Flagstaff location. This would be a uh, subdivision you would definitely want to check out. So right now I am in the subdivision of Presidio. Now this is another one of the newer neighborhoods in Flagstaff. Probably started building here around 2012-ish. Uh, maybe we're building up to last year. There are a lot of single family homes in here and townhomes. Uh, there's an HOA but it's kind of a low HOA fee. Prices right now I'm seeing in here are between six and eight hundred thousand dollars. Now it does uh, have a lot of that neighborhood feel um, because of the you know prices that uh, middle-class families can afford. The one thing I've heard people complain about, I don't know if it's a complaint, but that's, um, you know, the houses are a little bit closer together. So if you're wanting a bigger lot, Presidio might not be right for you, but this is a very nice neighborhood. I've been inside the units. I actually was in here when they were um, some models. Uh, they're very well done inside, uh, very nice. So this is a good Flagstaff neighborhood again. We're on the south end of Flagstaff uh, off of the Interstate 40 west of Interstate 17. So nice little quaint neighborhood here. Presidio might be one you should check out if you're looking to buy here in Flagstaff. So this is one of Flagstaff's newest community. I want to say brand new because they've only been building in here since about 220. So 220, 221, 222. There are brand new homes being built right now. This is Timber Sky. You have two builders working in here right now. You've got Miramonte Homes and you have Capstone Homes. So on the other side of where I'm walking, um, there's another development, but both are being developed by Capstone and Miramonte. Beautiful neighborhood. Like I say, you could get a brand new one built if you wanted to go to the sales office or if you wanted to just find a resale there are a few of them for sale in here they're going for I think the cheapest is around a million up to 1.2 million I think there are gonna be more if you have it built but you'd want to stop into the sales office and of course I could help represent you at the sales office if you were interested in a brand new one but this is Timber Sky uh, brand new neighborhood beautiful Flagstaff neighborhood a drop by I certainly think you would love it here um, the homes are bigger, the lots are bigger. There is an HOA, but it's not a super expensive one. So right now I'm in Railroad Springs. Now Railroad Springs is one of the most affordable neighborhoods in Flagstaff right now. You can find homes in the 400,000s. Now, probably the reason for this is most of these, I think all of these are manufactured homes, right? They were probably built around 2000, early 2000s. But that is good news for you because if you have a manufactured home that was built after 1976, is a double wide and on its own land, you can get a conventional loan on that. So you won't be paying any higher interest rate than you might someplace, you know, than for a single family home. So that that is good news. Railroad Springs, it's a nice community. Uh, the most affordable place in Flagstaff probably right now. And sometimes you'll see homes that are really nice and a lot of them have garages. Um, this could be a good option if you're looking to find a place to live in Flagstaff, um, maybe a starter home or um, something like that. So again, Railroad Springs, one of the most affordable neighborhoods in all of Flagstaff. It's on the west side of Interstate 17 places are mostly in very good shape so you might want to check this place out. 
So right now I'm standing outside of Flagstaff Ranch. Now Flagstaff Ranch is one of the most beautiful, prestigious neighborhoods in Flagstaff. Now I know I've been saying that because I do, I like a lot of these neighborhoods. Now Flagstaff Ranch has mostly single family homes. Um, it has some townhomes too. So this is a golf community. If you want to buy a home in here, you're gonna have to buy into the golf club membership. I think the initial uh, buy-in fee for the membership is $60,000. So it will cost you a lot to live here in Flagstaff Ranch, but as you can see, the homes are beautiful. They're big, they're on big lots, um, they're newer. I think most of them have been built since the year 2000. There is a beautiful clubhouse in there. Um, when I worked at the Realty One Group Mountain Desert Flagstaff office, so now I work in the Sedona office, but I, look, I worked in the Flagstaff office for about two, three years. We used to have our staff meetings in here every month. So it was beautiful, huge clubhouse, great views. There's lots of amenities. There are um, the golf course, of course, pickleball, tennis, the, the clubhouse. Um, I think there's even a pool somewhere, so lots of amenities. There is an HOA and it's a pretty high HOA fee. Uh, again, different parts might have a different fee, so I don't want to quote you, but uh, Flagstaff Ranch, very nice, very popular neighborhood here in Flagstaff with um, a great golf course. The clubhouse, again, is beautiful, has big windows overlooking. You can see a great view of the San Francisco Peaks. So uh, Flagstaff Ranch, this might be a place for you to consider. Uh, right now on the MLS, I'm seeing homes listed starting at $800,000 and going up to about $3 million. So again, these are pricey homes. Um, if you don't mind that and you don't mind the $60,000 buy-in to the golf membership fee, this could be a really good place for you. And I would be happy to show you around here um, if there are some homes you'd like to see. Right now I'm in Ponderosa Trails and it is starting to rain. Now this is one of the I don't want to say newer, but it is newer. <laughs> to me, it's newer. Uh, they started building here in around the early 2000s. Um, actually, there's a bunch of different little neighborhoods. Most of them have HOAs, but the fees are going to be different, you know, depending on what little cluster of homes you're in. There are a lot of uh, family homes in here and a lot of different sizes. And I think there's even some townhomes if you go certain areas. So very nice community. A lot of single family homes have bigger lots. Uh, prices, I've been watching. If you can find one of the smaller houses, you might be able to find something in the mid 500,000s, but most of them are going to be probably between the $600,000 and $800,000 mark, but there are going to be many also in the $800,000 to $1 million uh, mark in this neighborhood. Uh, again, this is a very nice neighborhood um, and it's kind of in a very convenient location, kind of where the Interstate 17 rolls into town. If you get off at Lake Mary Road, uh, you can get into the subdivision. Very nice. I don't think you would be disappointed. This is one of the areas I'm considering for when I can buy my house in Flagstaff. Probably not for another two years, but um, I really like this neighborhood. And there's some trail systems here too. If you um, can find the trailhead, nice walking paths. Um, I think you really like this place. So right now I'm in Pine Canyon and it is starting to rain, but this is one of the nicer, more prestigious Flagstaff neighborhoods. It's only been around since about 2005 and it's a big area. It's one of those developments where you'll have little communities inside of Pine Canyon. There's gonna be a lot of single family homes big ones on big lots and they're still building right now so if you want a custom home this could be the place for you if you're thinking of buying an existing home um, right now I'm seeing them for sale from about one and a half million all the way up to five million dollars so um, a lot of variety of homes to look for now again there's the different subdivisions that are gonna have the different HOAs and maybe access to the different amenities so I can't really tell you what the HOA fee would be but there is an HOA fee there's a guard in most of the neighborhoods possibly the townhomes might not have a guard but um, it's a little bit out of town actually we're still in Flagstaff but if you get onto Lake Mary Road like you're going to Lake Mary 
you don't drive very far, maybe like three minutes before you turn on John Wesley Powell and you're getting into Pine Canyon. So again, a beautiful place, very serene, very into nature, and uh, lots of variety of types of homes. And if you're interested in finding out about this place, certainly uh, give me a call and I will um, answer all your questions. I'm sure you would love it in here, but it is a little pricey. It's going to cost you a lot to get in here, but if you're okay with that, um, lots of possibilities in this neighborhood. Right now I'm in Kachina Village and I'm going to talk to you about both Kachina Village and Mountain Air because they're right next to each other. So if you are headed into Flagstaff, say from Interstate 17, you would take exit 333 and if you go to the west, you go to Kachina Village and if you go to the east, you're going to Mountain air now this is a little bit on the outskirts of town but it still is a flagstaff address you may be 10 minutes from rolling into all of the heart of flagstaff if you keep going but it's a nice little suburb it's one of the most affordable neighborhoods in flagstaff so let me tell you a little bit about the neighborhoods kachina village maybe they started putting stuff in here in the 1960s but a bulk of the houses are going to been built in the 70s 80s and 90s of course there's going to be some newer than that in the Mountain Air community is going to be about the same built in the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. Of course, you can find some newer stuff. Um, the homes in here are going to be a little bit smaller. Some of the lots are smaller. But now, interesting about Kachina Village, actually, Mountain Air is the same way. If you go towards the north side when you come in, uh, the houses are smaller, more close together. If you go towards the south side, you'll have bigger homes on um, bigger lots. So that's kind of the nicer area. Homes in here are going between actually I've seen some beat up junky mobile homes in the 300,000s but most of them are going between 400 and 800,000 dollars that's the other thing is there are some manufactured homes in here and at Mountain Air side as well I think more of the manufactured homes on this Kachina Village side so in Mountain Air same thing smaller homes on smaller lots but as you first go into the neighborhood there are some very big custom looking homes on big lots so not all of it is smaller and not all of it is affordable again you'll see stuff 400 to 800 hundred thousand uh, right now there's not a lot that's more expensive than that but occasionally there will be one of those great big you know four thousand square foot homes on two acres come up for sale that would be very expensive but there are not that many of those in here but again Kachina Village or Mountaineer could be a good choice for you if you want to move to Flagstaff and are looking for something affordable now one caveat I want to say is there's no HOA in here, which is good, of course, for a lot of people that like them, but it does help you keep track of if your neighbor is putting up something kind of flaky. So there was a time I was showing a house in Mount Nair. It was a beautiful house, but across the street, somebody actually had a food truck parked on the front lawn. So here you are in your cute little house, you're looking out the window and there's a food truck on the park yard, you know, that says come buy a taco or something. So that is the disadvantage of not having an HOA and I've seen that in Mountain Air and Kachina but then there'll be little clusters where everything is cute and beautiful and you would love to live there but you got to watch out because occasionally there will be some spotty looking houses and I mean when I say spotty just they're, they're not maintained very well when well, it might be like seven cars on the yard that's one of my pet peeves you might have figured that out by now um, but again Kachina Village Mountain Air on the south side of Flagstaff about 10 minutes out of town one of the more affordable neighborhoods if you're looking to move to Flagstaff so that's it I hope you enjoyed your video tour of the neighborhoods of South Flagstaff my name is Dawn Dickinson I sell real estate up here Flagstaff Sedona if you have a real estate question feel free to give me a call text email my information is always in the description below I'm gonna get out of here soon because it's uh, starting to thunder now um, the channel is living in Northern Arizona if you like the video please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button the subscribe button the notification bell because I put videos out every single week so I hope to see you back here again next week